Folkestone is an art school. Folkestone is an art school. Folkestone is an art school. So the French conceptual artist Marcel Duchamp really captured the power of serendipity when he threw down a series of strings on the floor and then charted the exact placement of those strings with some wooden panels. I've decided to up the ante here by making a much more complicated knot and throwing it on this piece of paper, which I will then chart using this pen. Some of these shapes are great, little oval shapes. Odd squares. Looks like. Some of the shapes look like fabric patterns. Of course, Duchamp's intention in just drawing a single line was to capture something about arbitrariness. But this is really about composition and developing ideas of shapes. Let's go for the big reveal. So I've come up with a lot of random but interesting meant shapes. They look as if they've come from somewhere, these shapes. But what you could do is, um, is throw the rope on again and get another colour and go over it and get some new shapes, even more complicated. And then you could throw it on again <laughs> and again. In fact, I might actually do that one. <laughs> Let's do it. That one looks good. It's really important to use the best and most beautiful materials. Folkestone is an art school. Sight, sound, touch, taste, smell. So juxtaposition is a big thing in developing new ideas and in contemporary art. And what I'm gonna do now is make some collage work using these objects. Um, I think I'm gonna start with this Guardian guide. So let's have a look in for here for some good images. So there's a great image, that, um, that war horse image. 
That eye is wonderful. Uh, and uh, let's see what else we've got in here. Well, that works quite well. This lady. This is also about serendipity. It's beautiful truck, probably from the fifties. Actually, there's some railway line. It's completely the wrong scale. <laughs> but that's a great image. Collage is all about cutting things up and ripping things apart. Collage is also all about opposing things, sticking opposites together. Peacetime tractor, wartime tank. Inappropriate fixing. I've got the discovery here. Actually, perhaps. Let's move these out of the way. That's quite a surreal image. Kind of an impossible image. Folkestone, you're an art school. Developing art is all about researching. It's important that you have some kind of library. Of course, now you can look up everything on Google and it's important to do that. But it's also important to look at images and root around. So this is a book of calligraphy. It was actually a book of a, a kind of type called Risker type. And, uh, and they just have all the types that they sell or used to sell. But it has, look, it says the finest art, the fine art. Oh, this is a nice Afro-modern. Journeys through the Black Atlantic. This was a great exhibition showing how modernism came from Africa, much like blues music came from Africa. Uh, modernism came from Africa because all the modernist artists in in Paris uh, were buying African masks and uh, so that whole language really that language of uh, angles and triangles and squares really has its roots in uh, the geometry of African pattern. This kind of thing, I travelled around in India for a long time and this kind of imagery is important to me. Vernacular imagery, not fine art, but uh, didactic books telling kids about the world. This is one of my teachers, uh, Bill Colbert, making light work. Uh, New Zealand uh, conceptual artist, light artist. He used to teach at Reading University. Extraordinary artist. Post hoc rationalisation of chance encounters is an important source of inspiration. Oh my God, it looks like my mother. It's 
So the homework this week is to capture the power of serendipity. I want you to make a work which is about a collision, a collision between you and a chance encounter. And then I want you to construct something or make something based on this chance encounter.